you you reach out to your to your past memories to say let me remember I, w I knew how to put this equipment together I've done it before so you're thinking about how did I do it last time so you deriv deriving that information and you put it back together there's no problem with that it's like never ever go to your past don't use any experiences yeah. it's functional for the moment yeah but but we have to I'm presuming we have to use our brains as well as we go on in life. Well, God, ga God gave you the brain and the mind. You might as well use it for something, you know? Yes, but relax in the present and, and, and to what is being revealed. Respond to that. Yeah, you, you have this great, great device, the great equipment, great thing. Yes at your disposal but what happens is since we are not educated correctly it's a lack of education so what happens is the mind becomes the master and you start suffering greatly because you have this unbelievable thing at your disposal but you have zero training of how to use it. So it's running loose on its own and it does whatever it wants to do. And there's nobody there to direct you and teach you what is it you have to do. So what happens, it it's naturally is out of hand. So it's either in the past or it's in the future and it's projecting all the time because future is simply a projection of the past. That's all it is. It's non-existent. There, it's, there's no existence to it. The only thing that exists is now. Yes. So... Now, as, as Ram Dass wrote be here now his book paper. yeah well because yeah. you can't be anywhere else even if you try to yeah but our, our 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 college and school training and that tends to be so mind oriented we have to get back to the nature or, or relax back into yeah nature. exactly yeah. we have to unclutch and that's a part of this work, for example, the self-awakening mastery workshop that we're going to have is to design to master your mind to understand this great device thing phenomena that is at your disposal and is running loose and has become your master and creates suffering where you need to be the master of it and it becomes a great servant because it does serve you it's got great potential under someone who's trained to how to use it it's like you got this beautiful brand new mac macbook computer but you have no idea how to use it so somebody needs to teach you how to use it once you know how to use it, you can do enormous amount of different things with it. From photography, to videography, to art, to communication, to accounting, to live streaming, to, to you can call, phone calls. From the, you have the lib library of Alexandria at your disposal in a little box which called computer. You can get any information you want. You can go on YouTube and teach yourself literally anything that possibly you can learn. And it's all there. You can learn about history. You can learn about science, space, sex, tantra, meditation, engineering, how they b build bridges, how they they dive under the, sc the water to fish. I mean, every, anything you want is there. But you have to know how to use it. So... Very, thank 
you. Yeah, go ahead. So surrender to what is presenting naturally uh, in, in silence with some discernment, I presume, for if it involves other people, etc. Don't dwell in the past or the future. Uh, respond to what is. Uh, yes. The quieter part of your spirit or your soul or your heart. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And all of that begins, all of it is through the transformation and from the head to the heart. Going from analytical thinking into simply being. Being, yes. yes. And that we learn how to go beyond the mind how to dive into the silence. As you're diving into the silence, as you're becoming quiet, as this transition is happening, the other one is revealing itself. So then you learn how to manage the mind, but first you have to go beyond that because you can't use the mind to manage the mind. It doesn't work that way. So... I can sit down here and re and like a parrot repeat to myself I need to do I need to be positive I need to be positive I need to think positively I need to say things positively well it won't work it just does not work you have to go beyond that exactly exactly yeah. Quiet within integration point of the total body and spirit. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. You're welcome, brother. You're welcome. You're welcome. Everyone, but I, I deeply appreciate that. That's been very helpful because um, I do have a busy mind, or I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I was trained mind oriented, but I've been working on myself clearly for quite a while. So that's helped to, to uh, give me the framework. So thank you. Yes, you're welcome, brother. And you know, to your, the, the more advanced you get, the more you realize that even this mind is, it's just simply thoughts passing and they have no power in this act of ownership of it. That's where the problem starts to appear. But the thoughts, the mind is just an appearance. Something is appearing.